Here's the full story of the 2019 Revenge on Voters Act. This constitutional right has been in the Constitution since 1912 and is a product of the Progressive Era. It ensures our right as citizens to take action when the legislature fails. But this story of revenge goes back a decade. In 2011, the legislature passed some extremely unpopular education legislation called the Luna Laws. Outraged, the people repealed these laws at the ballot box, making them the first laws repealed by Idaho citizens since the 1930s. Five months later, the legislature extracted their revenge. They ramped up requirements to 6% of voters in 18 of 35 districts to qualify for the ballot. Over 56,000 signatures are now required. Meanwhile, Medicaid failed in 2013. In 2014, it died in committee. In 2015, it failed. In 16, it failed. And in 17, it failed. In 2016, the Campaign Finance Initiative failed to get enough signatures. This bill would have limited the role of money in Idaho politics. 2018, frustrated by the legislature's inaction, thousands of volunteers secured 56,000 signatures for the Medicaid ballot initiative. Upon its passage, the legislature has now taken its action a second time. They will extract their revenge in a way that makes the initiative process 695 times harder. So here's the cycle of revenge. First, the legislature fails to take action. Second, the citizens take action through the initiative process. And third, the legislature swiftly retaliates to suppress this constitutional right. Are you with me?